I'm going to see if I can destroy the Goldmate Orion 1000 in an upcoming trip. Let me show you how I'm going to do that. The Goldmate Orion 1000 is the third Goldmate lithium battery that I've covered on this channel. And so far, I've been in love with all of them. I really like the mini size one that I'll link up right here that's perfect on my other kayak. But what I want to do tomorrow when I go out on this kayak is really put the Orion 1000 under a stressful test. And here's why it will be stressful. This, of course, is a 12 volt battery that is very inexpensive, but according to the manufacturer, it's got all the protections that I'll list right here. I mean, pretty robust set of characteristics. Well, over here, let me explain how I'm really going to work this thing out. This is my pack motor kayak trolling motor. It's really nice. It's got double thrusters, but it was really designed to be run by their 19 volt motor. So what I did is I bought a DC to DC converter to upscale the 14 volts that I expect to get out of the Orion 1000 to the 19 volts required to get the maximum performance out of this pack motor motor. And I think that is really going to put the Orion under a lot of stress. I'm not going to be insane when I do this. The Orion 1000 has two ways you can monitor what's going on in the system. It's actually got an LCD screen built in here that will throw up any warnings as well as discuss or show what's going on in terms of input and output on the battery. But on this kayak, that's going to be way in the front to balance out my weight here in the back. So instead, I will be using their app that will show me exactly what's going on in this battery so I don't really do anything stupid. Well, I'm going to load this up on my truck today because we're off for an early start tomorrow morning. And we'll get this thing installed, take it out on the water, and see how it performs. Well, we're out here to check out this battery under load. So I've had it running consistently now for about a half hour away from the launch. And this app is really handy because it tells me that I've got 97% of the capacity remaining and that while I was running, I was drawing 15.5 amps. So it's always good to know at max power what your motor is pulling. Now this battery, while I'm sitting here before I go out and go fishing, this battery is pretty amazing. Although it is a little bit heavier than the other Golden Mate 100 amp hour battery I tested. So you can see that it's a ruggedized container. It's got two heavy duty handles and it's IPX6 rated, so it's pretty much fully waterproof. And I think the ruggedization is what adds a little bit to the weight. Now here are all the specs, so you can see that it's fully safety certified, has all the protections in the BMS that you would expect for a battery. The only thing remaining to show today is it can it handle the torture load of 19 volts going into this pack motor battery. I've been running the motor constantly for about an hour as I'm looking for a place out of this heavy wave action to, to go ahead and sit down and fish. And I'm down to 93%. That's not really bad. The uh, peak amperage that I've, my motor's been drawn has been about 19 so far. This is what everything looks like out here at Crossover 2. Wind's coming up a little bit today. And so you can see it's kicking up some waves the tide is theoretically going out and i think that is what's causing the wave action because the wind is coming directly from the west here's one of the reasons why you want a ruggedized battery if you're going into rough water although you can't see it in this particular clip there are many times when the water comes splashing over my bow and hits that battery and i'm glad that it's protected at the level of IPX6, so I don't have to worry about that. What you're looking at over to the right is a pretty cool feature called the rocks. It was actually built 
in 1881 to stop shoaling on the Cape Fear River. But the benefit to me and other fishermen is it created one of the largest salt marshes here in North Carolina, full of redfish, which is what I want to catch. I've been using that motor hard for the last two hours because we really didn't stop anywhere to fish. It ended up being more of a recon based on the white caps and the high wind and things like that. And let's take a look at what's showing on the app. Here's the app back from when I was actually running the motor and you can see that it's showing me the voltage, the current, power, things like that. But the key thing that, well actually the two key things I'm interested in are what is my remaining capacity and how does that translate to endurance time? In other words, how much longer could I be out here and run it at that same level of stress? key information to get back to the boat launch. So after two hard hours of work, where this motor has been running constantly, you can see that I haven't really consumed much of this Orion 1000 battery. So I'm going to give this battery a thumbs up. I think it's a pretty good one. And if you're in a place where you can look at the LCD screen, well, then you don't need the app going. Of course, here in a kayak, with the battery in the front, I had to use the app. But in my other kayak, I put the battery in the back, and I could have just turned around to see what the status is. I think this is another good Golden Mate product. You can see my reviews of the other one on the end screen. What do you guys think? Have you used this battery before? If so, throw some comments down below. Thanks.